This is yet another um, uh, video on a concept that I had since I, I was a young kid trying to figure out how we could harness the power of freezing ice and or freezing water I should say in the production of ice which, inc which increases in volume so that it can compress air and uh, if it's done in a manner like I'm showing here with check valves, every time the water freezes and pushes to the top, it's going to use that force to compress the, the tank on the extreme right. Uh, the forces of ice have been well known. A famous uh, explorer, Ernest Shackleton, had his ship Endurance crushed in the ice, uh, which is um, the reason why it's very hard to have boats survive the, uh, the ice pushing on the sides. Um, Basically, you can get some very high pressures uh, from ice, and if put in the right containers, you could every day um, force more and more um, air pressure into a master tank. Um, as you know, 8% of the ice mass is above the surface in the case of icebergs. Uh, so there's quite a um, increase in and, and mass, and thus you, you will get compression um, with such a thing. Now, it's important that once the air is pressed out of the unit, um, you're going to have a problem where you're going to have uh, air having to come back to replace it, because this cycle will take place uh, virtually every day during certain seasons, as you can see by the, the daily temperature graph of, uh, of January 24th, uh, 2011. And so this cycle of freezing and thawing will, could, it will happen again and again. So you're saying, uh, you know, how can you use this energy? Well, one scuba tank will give you three kilowatts of power for about seven minutes. There's enough energy in, in, in such a tank to, to boil 3.5 liters of water. So if you can imagine an unlimited amount of tanks uh, freezing and thawing and freezing and thawing. They could be painted black. That would extend the... Uh, <clears throat> that would extend the season where you could use this, uh, so that even in a severe winter, uh, during the, during the daylight hours in places where it does get cold at night and there's very few clouds during the day, the black tanks will heat up and melt the ice and start the next cycle. So it would be a, a daily cycle forever. Now the only downside is we're talking um, evaporation of the water eventually, so the water would have to uh, be um, put. Uh, replaced from time to time. And that's it.